damn it. One, two. He watches me, a silent brood, as I wither away healthy desires. He watches every day, through night and dawn, lurking and plotting to set his next fire. I bleed onto the paper, writing my very last words. Shadowy dreams and nightmares consume me like a flightless bird. He knows why I bleed. He knows why I suffer. He tells me there's a better way of living, and it makes me wonder. He sees me with Beth. Beth, a beauty, as a radiant as a thousand suns. Her eyes shine amongst the stars at night, but she has entered an awakening that has just begun. I hold this gun in my hand, with confidence. I try to put it down, but he shows his dominance. We had a love as strong as the gravity of heaven, yet he makes it easy to foresee, because when the light of dawn reaches horizon, it still feels like darkness to me. Get the fuck out of here. Easy. Just get out of here. Easy, I just want to talk to you. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. You know, I saw you with the gun to your head, and um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why? I mean, why, why shouldn't I just pull the trigger right now? Because there's a better way we can handle this. We can, we can talk this through. I'm Chris, by the way. Look, Chris, I see what you're trying to do here, but I don't need another lecture on how things are gonna get easier or better. Because they're not. And why do you care? You don't even know me. You're right. I don't know you. But I've been in the same place as you. I had a gun in my mouth and I swear I never looked back. You're just going to have to trust me when I say it's all uphill from here. You haven't been where I am. You don't understand. Well, help, help me understand. understand. I, I feel like life just kind of lost its flavor. What do you mean? When you, when you lose a sense of purpose, you feel like it's not worthwhile anymore. You feel like everyone's out to get you. You have no reason to get back up when you're the one who knocked yourself down. But you're still so young. You have so much living left to do. For some people, it takes a while to find their true purpose. You just have to be patient. I've run out of patience. And it's not just that. I, I can't feel anything. 
Like, if I saw a lady get shot in, in some dark alley, I probably wouldn't even give a damn. It's like I'm living under this, this cloud. And it's been years since I've even seen a glimpse of sunlight. All it takes is one little ray of sunlight and your whole outlook on life will change. The most important thing is to be happy, to enjoy your life. And you never know, someone might be right by your side enjoying it with you. Thanks. Uh, it means a lot that you care. Here, take this. Why are you giving me this? It's a little bit of hope you'll need. A small reminder that someone cares. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm Beth, by the way. Peter. <laughs> If anything, you picked a pretty good spot to kill yourself. Too soon. <laughs>
and now she's gone. Just leave so I can die alone. So, this girl, she was pretty great, huh? She was better than pretty great. Tell me, how is she special to you? You ever love someone so much, to where if they're not there, you don't feel alive? <laughs> That's how it was. That's how it was before I even met her. I felt like each day of my life was leading up to the day I saw her. But now... I hate to ask, what will happen? Car crash. I know I don't really have a say in this situation, and I don't really know who this girl is, but what do you think she wants you to do? How... How about I take you back to my place? You know, we'll make you feel comfortable. We'll give you someone to talk to. Okay. He knows it's my fault. She died because of me. She was my only hope. And now there's only one place I want to be. Who is he? He is death. And death is me. <laughs> Sincerely, Peter Hall. I'll see you soon, Beth. Because my only hope is death. <laughs>